Hello everybody, my name is Austin Randolph, and today we're going to kind of be talking about a theory I have that I think a lot of people that have been playing for a while have figured out, but if you're newer, you're in your first couple years of playing, maybe this is a, kind of an avenue for you to explore. And that uh, said avenue is buying a kind of budget-friendly guitar, so this, I just picked this up, it's a 2020 Epiphone inspired by Gibson. Les Paul, still have, yeah, still has the thingy, classic. And the idea is to have this budget-friendly guitar. And a lot of times where uh, companies that make, you know, sub thousand dollar guitars save money is in the electronics department. But what happens if you drop in a set of like good American pickups? Well, my friends, that gives you like the best budget guitar you can have. So I picked this up off of Reverb. Like I said, it's a 2020 Epiphone, the Inspired by Gibson. I really, really believe, I've been playing Epiphones for a long time. A lot of people have been playing Epiphones for a long time. I really believe these new Epiphones are the best guitars they've ever made. And they went through, they redid a bunch of quality control stuff. Frankly, the headstock looks so much better that a lot of this video at the end of the day is going to boil down to can you live with a different name on the headstock that's not, you know, the big G. But I picked this up off Reverb. Uh, it is a gold top, Les Paul Classic Faded, which means you get, it's actually a really good looking piece of wood too, but you get a satin finish. It's kind of that like open pour on the wood satin finish. Frankly, I really like that. I almost prefer that to a gloss that you'd, you know, find in my Gibson that's hanging up right there. But uh, the guy I bought it from did a little fiddling with it. And these are not normal Epiphone pickups. They come stock with like the uh, Zebra made by Epiphone humbuckers. These are a pair of Seymour Duncan Saturday Night Specials. So it's like a 70s voiced, you know, think John Travolta in that movie, um, 70s voiced humbuckers. But American design, Seymour Duncan is like the goat of pickup replacing, just pickups in general, think Seymour Duncan. And I have to be 100% honest, man, the frets on this guitar we're done really well. There's no fret ends taken into my hand. Um, I don't know if the guy I bought it from this is a secondhand guitar, so this is not like a speaking from the factory thing. Ooh, my hair is all sweaty. Um, but the frets are smooth. I'm not getting any scratchiness. Um, I just had to drop the action a little bit when I got it because a lot of people like it on the tad higher side with traditional guitars. I don't. I like a uh, nice low action without any buzzing. Um, the nuts, a graph tech nut, you get Grover tuners on it. It plays phenomenally. And a lot of people where you notice the big, big difference as far as if you can hear a difference between, you know, one of the 8 million Epiphone versus Gibson comparisons on YouTube, the difference a lot of times boils down to depth and clarity between the two models, one Epiphone, one Gibson. Depending on the year, I mean, Gibson made some terrible fucking guitars, <laughs> but I think they're doing really well now. And man, I ne with the Seymour Duncans in it, the guy put a uh, American Switch in it, and ooh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's firm and clicky and great. He put new pots, I mean, he did the whole thing, right? He basically gutted the electronics and put all super high quality electronics in it. And I have to be honest, man, Sire's making some great guitars right now. Epiphone's making some great guitars right now. But bumping up your Epiphone to like a professional tier, putting a pair of Duncans in an Epiphone. I cannot think of a better way to get like a world-class instrument. This guitar plays phenomenally. Um, I tried to mic it up as well as I could. I was like really checking my levels on my UI. I really hope that transfers over to this video because the depth and the clarity of the cleans on this, especially in the neck pickup, just make me want to melt. I, oh, it's so good. And I love my Gibson guitars that I have, but I don't care. I wouldn't care if I had some amazing endorsement by Gibson. Honestly, this hangs with them 
every single day of the week. I mean, I would put it right up against uh, every, you know, Gibson Les Paul I've ever owned. But this video is not supposed to be about Gibson, so we're going to stop talking about them. Uh, this video is about Epiphone and putting some new electronics in it. Their electronics are getting better, but man, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a better instrument. Budget guitars are great right now, but a lot of times you can tell a difference when you put them up against, you know, I don't want to call it the real deal, but the, you know, expensive world-class, I would be, I'd bet a large amount of money that in a sound and feel test, this hangs with the big dogs every single day of the week. So if you've been playing for a few years and you kind of want to find yourself, and by the way, man, the gold, oh, I've never had a gold top Les Paul before, but Jesus, oh, it looks so good. Um, if you've been playing for a few years, you've had a few Epiphones, you're kind of getting a feel for what you prefer in a guitar. Um, this has a slimmer neck on it than I normally play, but I really like the grain being exposed on the back. So, you know, it's a give and take. If you're a Les Paul guy, or if you're an SG guy, like if you know you like the traditional Gibson models, you can find these for a steal right now. If you go, because like at the end of the day, somebody's not going to pay 1200 bucks for an Epiphone just because it has good pickups in it. I mean, Epiphone's trying to do that from the factory right now with, like, their 59 and their greenie they just put out, which is crazy expensive. But this is, this is the secret time. The secret time is this thing, to build it yourself, you're never going to get what you paid for. Because these Duncans are probably, I don't know, 250 bucks, 300 bucks, something like that for this set. Wiring it yourself, you can save money, but paying somebody to do it, it's a couple of hundred bucks more in addition to the, whatever they're charging for these nowadays, like 450 bucks, you're not gonna get your money when you try to sell it. If you don't care about that, you can find a steal. So I highly, highly encourage people to poke around Reverb, try to find an Epiphone with some Seymour Duncans in it. If you've done this and it was a complete disaster, by all means, let me know in the comments, but, if you've done it and it's just opened your eyes to what a really good set of electronics can do for a guitar that already plays well, um, man, this is an absolute world-class instrument. I love this guitar. And I think that the, the new recipe for like best budget guitar in my eyes, man, I can't think of a better contender than the new inspired by Gibson Epiphones because they're just, they play great and a set a good set of duncans in it oh man i think this guitar might have cracked the code so thanks everybody follow me on tiktok same username is here um that's actually kind of really taken off and if you want to hop in on my weird little community of uh of the young folks over there but please uh you know like subscribe all that good stuff i'm trying to get this channel off the ground um hopefully you guys can hear how much the tone of this guitar, by the way, coming through Fender Bass Breaker, so good valve amp. Hopefully you can hear the clarity and feel the clarity that I'm feeling and just the depth and the warm butteriness and oh my God. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go, but yeah, let me know how your Epiphone Plus Duncan experience went because I don't know if I'm ever gonna get rid of this guitar. Thanks everybody, see ya. <laughs>